What's up YouTube, it's your boy St. Lou, back at you with another video. And today, I got something for y'all. I got my first upgrade for my Lipsy exclusive, Glock 20 Gen 5. And uh, we're gonna get this thing unboxed, y'all gonna see what it is, and uh, let me know what else I can do. All right, without further ado, Yeah, look what I got here, y'all. Whatever it is, y'all know it got a battery in it. So, uh, oh yeah, y'all should already know. Yeah, I got this from this company called Optic Force. They actually had a good sale going on. I actually think it's a good sale all the time because uh, when I first went on there, once again, it's Optic Force. It's like first time buyers get like 10% off and they don't charge taxes. So you know me, she, shoot, excuse my language. I like uh, tax-free. Tax-free make it feel like a deal. So uh, today we're gonna get this thing unboxed and uh, installed. But first, let me show y'all what it is. The Hollison SCS MOS edition. And I know y'all know what it is. Y'all probably seen a million unboxes, but uh, this is my unboxing. So uh, here we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Gonna slide that open. Set that to the side, nice little box. Y'all seen that before on my last unboxing. Let's see what we got here. Got the top, got a little foam in there for extra cushion for the pushing. Set that right there, got a warranty card. Y'all know, warranty cards is where it's at, so uh, make sure y'all uh, sign up for your warranty. And I noticed the last time I signed up for warranty, I didn't know what the serial number was. And I guess this is the serial number right here. Don't wanna zoom in too close, cause I didn't do the warranty yet, but I'm finna do it. So here, yeah, you got a, a user's guide. Got a user's guide. Gives you instructions on how to install it and the features and how to change the reticles. You got a microfiber cleaning cloth, just in case you get your little greasy fingerprints on it or sweaty. And uh, they gave us a pack of salt. Say, do not eat this salt. Don't put it in your coffee. Don't do nothing. Just throw it away. All right, here yeah, we got a couple screws. Y'all see that right there? Got a couple screws. I don't know which screws I'm gonna have to use, but I think them the ones. So we had the salt. And now we got this here. This is the tool to adjust the uh, sight, adjust the dot. And it's to remove the MOS plate and actually to install, but I believe I'm gonna use the one that actually came with the gun. But, uh, yeah, this is that. Nice little piece. Got a little Holliston branding on it. Set that to the side. And here what we got here. The thing of the hour. Yeah. That joker, that nice. I like how low it sit. Other than my, uh, the last one I had, the profile is really low. So, uh, I think I might like this one a little bit better than the other one. So, uh, yeah, cause this the other one. Show y'all, ain't loaded. You see, no shells in there. Uh, let me unload it, you know, for the uh, YouTube police. Cause I've been running into a couple of those little shorts I did. They'll hop in, you keep your finger away from the trigger. I, my bad, I'm sorry, I know. Okay, you look at that optic. You know, it's a little thick on the feet. Got a little thick feet. This one here, this one, you probably already know, it don't have a battery. It only got the solar. Well, it got a battery, but it's like a solar power battery. It's like you can't remove it like you can remove this one. You know, on this one, you can remove it from that, that door right there. This one just all built in, so. We're gonna get this thing installed, and uh, let me show y'all my beauty that I'm on installing it on. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that there. The FDA Glock 20 GN5. First thing we're gonna do, slide it back. Make sure it's empty. Y'all see? Empty, nothing in there. Got the orange tab for the mag. We're gonna slide that on out. Set it to the side. No ammunition on the table. Yeah, got the MOS, finna slap it right on top. See, y'all see that beauty right there? That joker nice right there, man. But yeah, here we go. I always have a hard time taking this off, so we're gonna see what we got. See if I'm gonna have a hard time today. Should have been pressed the trigger, but uh, here we go. Look at that beauty. I like that. That shot, that man. All right, we're gonna pop this spring out. I know y'all know how to do this, but we're gonna do it live. I'm gonna pop that spring out. Man, what in the world? I scratched up my thing, man. Oh no. Nicely lube, so why am I scratched up, man? Y'all give me some pointers, man. I want to keep my my Glock 20 beautiful, man. I guess it probably ain't gonna never stay beautiful, huh? But anyway, let's get this thing rolling. We're gonna pop the barrel out. Set this on here. I will set it in the case, but it might take the oil off of it, and you know. I don't feel like re-oiling. I'm gonna set that right there, set that spring right there. And we just gonna have this piece right here. We're gonna set this back in now. Bing, bang. Slide it back on to the back. All right, that's what we got here. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, let's see. Like this? All right, we got it off, got that plate off. And this is how it looks up under there. Looks a little sophisticated. MOS system, not bad. All right. Oh yeah, I like my Glock watch face. Yeah, that's job there, I kinda like it. But anyway, back to this. Got the screws dropped in there. These are the screws that came with the, uh, with the gun. These are the screws I'm gonna use. And uh, that you see, they got the blue Loctite on it. They sit and they, they can get enough thread up in the inside. And uh, we're going to set this joker up on top of it. We're going to line that middle line up, that little, that little groove they got in there. With the groove under there, you see up under there? Let's check that out. Well, it's a groove under there right in the middle. We're going to line that on up. Set that in there. Oh yeah. Feel nice and snug. And we're gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this one, the little thing that came with it. And we're gonna give it a couple screws. We're gonna screw that side a little bit. And then we're gonna screw this side a little bit. You know like love nuts on a car, you wanna not tighten them down all the way, just slightly snug and switch it up, snug and switch it up and snug. It's a little snug. That's because of the blue Loctite that's on it. So don't worry. Think you cross thread, unless you really cross thread. And so I think that's about. That's it. There, give it a little thumb juice at the end. You can feel it when you get to that spot for the thumb juice. So just spin that. Take them there. Give it a look. Uh, Fifteen pounds. Uh, 15 pounds. Let's sit that one more time. Boom. Boom. All right. And as you can see, not bad. I might put a mark on there so I can know if the screws actually will turn after I get it on there or whatever. Man, I like how you can co witness with it, man. That's nice. Stay y'all see that? With the dot. You know what? Let's turn the dot on. I ain't turned it on yet. Got that power button. Let's hold that for a couple seconds, I think. That's how you do everything else in life. 
And there you go. Y'all see that? Y'all see that joker that man? Got the green dot on my second pistol already. I'm gonna spend too much money in these guns already, y'all. But uh, hey, if I'm gonna go to the range, I'm gonna go the right way. So I just wanted to get both of my guns ready. I ain't been to the range yet, but I'm going either tonight or tomorrow. Y'all gonna see the footage. I'm gonna see y'all gonna see me grab this 10 millimeter for the first time, and we are gonna see if I got what it takes to shoot. Okay, got the different optics. Got the circle. Wait, let me zoom in, get that up in there. Got the circle. Is it gonna focus right there? Well, it's focusing up. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got the circle and the dot. Probably can't see that because it's, you know, it's a dot in the middle, but it's a circle and a dot. All right, and we got, yeah, y'all seen just a dot. But yeah, let's get this joker put back together. Let's zoom it on out from here. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna pop this back open, set this to the side. Pop this joker back open. Right there, let's get these screws off the platform. All right. First things first, let's get the barrel. Slide that joker in. Beep. And get that spring. Put the front side in. And uh, press that ever so slightly. Get that on the second ledge, or maybe the third one. Got that on there. All right. Ooh, I got the green dot. Yeah. All right. Let me stop geeking. Let me stop geeking. Let's throw this on here. See, the GM fives is different than the other one. You can't slide all the way completely from the front because you got to go over this little thing back here. So you got to put it on like about right there. Had a like the second serration one too above that latch. And set it on down, side it on back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we is in full effect. Yes, sir. But anyway, as y'all can see, got this joker installed. My first upgrade on my Glock 20 Gen 5. Yeah, and y'all put that, give me a like, share, subscribe, you know, put a comment down there. Let me know what else I can do to deck this gun out because I want to change these pins, but I don't know what color I want to change them. I was looking at it. I was looking around. I was thinking maybe orange. But then again, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the uh, comments if I should change my pins. Should I make this, my extended release, make that orange, this pin orange and this slide lock release orange. And I also might do this in the trigger. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all think that'll look. And what other upgrades I can get. You know, I'm new to this gun game. You know, I got the same upgrades on both guns. But actually, I put pins on here, as y'all can see. I put the pins in there. The silver, bing, 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 bing. Yeah, that, I like that. That joker shot. Now I got two of them. Like I'm playing real live Call of Duty. I always put beams on my gun in Call of Duty, too. And yeah, if y'all, you know, want to play with me on Call of Duty, my gamer's tag is on PlayStation is St. Louis 81. And on Call of Duty, depending on if you got like Xbox or play on computer, it's Dirty Little Pimp. I'm going to probably put it up on the screen so y'all can know how to spell it if y'all want to play a game with me or something. I'm actually kind of cold at it too. So uh, yeah. But yeah, y'all let me know what upgrades I can get to deck this joke out, man. I don't know which gun I'm going to go all out on because I want one to be my EDC and I don't want too much, you know what I'm saying, changing barrels and all that stuff because that make them not dependable. Well, that's what a lot of people say. And I kind of believe them because they say a Glock is perfect from the factory. So I always want to make sure I can depend on it. So, yeah, once again, this your boy St. Lou checking out with another video or your boy St. Lou checking out with another review. And, uh, 
yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. And yeah, I got, remember the place, if you want to look for one of these, they got decent prices. Oh, well, they're 10% off and no taxes. You know what I'm saying? That's like even more when you don't pay the taxes. I love not paying taxes. That makes everything delightful. So, uh, yeah, it's opticforce.com. I might put it up on the screen and I might not because I'm not getting paid for it. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all know. And I'm hitting the range. I'm going to post a video of it. So y'all subscribe so y'all won't miss it. And I got a new gun. I know y'all like, dang, already, yeah. It's been a month and I got three guns already. I just found it out after I ordered the last one that they told me after I got there, cause I gotta wait my 72 hours. They told me that they gotta notify the FBI. Or what's that, the ATF? No, the FBI or whatever they said, they got to notify them. So yeah, don't buy a lot of guns at one time. I mean, it ain't like I'm a criminal or nothing. I ain't worried about it, but they still I don't want no eyes on me from no FBI. But yeah, until next time, I'm signing out. Appreciate y'all for coming to check me out. And I'm happy. I might hit the range tonight, but whatever I go, y'all coming with me. So make sure y'all subscribe and uh, have a good night.